got in my face. One day I was just filming the dance trend by myself in the kitchen. Little did I know that she was actually going to do the dance trend in the middle of the camera. She comes up with different dances. She's not just bouncing up and down, like she's moving her head and her wing. Since then, we've been doing a little bit of dancing. We always dance together. Now, that's another way of bonding with her. She likes bounce music and rap music and Caribbean music. I think that she sees dancing as a way to get attention because the minute she starts to do it, everyone in the house will pay attention to her. Coco is a very clingy bird. Here I am, just working on my laptop, and she has decided to join me. Um, correction. She demanded to join me by screaming very, very loudly. There is no stopping her. If I don't pay her any attention, she will continue yelling. Yeah. One is screaming. Do you see this? I caught you. She gets very much involved in everything. Coco just helping around um, her Caribbean household. I'm just trying to knit in peace and Coco has decided to take over the task for me. Coco, I already told you how to do the purling method. Like, that's not how you do it. It's Coco's world and we're all just living in it, honestly. After we dance together, she finally gets all the attention that she was seeking. So she lets me do my work in peace. You want some head scratches, Choo Choo Bug? You want some head scratches? I hope she keeps dancing Hello. forever because her dancing means she's happy. Her previous owners, they mistreated her in a way and I'm very thankful that the trauma she went through in that old household did not take over. So it's We're playing footsies. I plan on having Coco forever. She's just a little dancing queen. I love her. I'm outside, just like soaking in <laughs> the sun. And of course, Coco's with me in her new little um, leash. Because Coco has to be everywhere with me. Nah, I don't mind though. You okay, Chuchu? Oh, you, you are? <laughs>